Hey everyone, welcome back to a rank up video. Um, so what I did here, I actually got the idea from a member of my alliance. Uh, if you guys follow B McG on YouTube, he has some pretty cool videos um, and he recently let his girlfriend pick his next rank 4 champion. I um, thought it was a pretty cool idea. And I've been very indecisive on rank ups for a while. Um, so I figured I would let my wife pick not one, but two rank four champions. Um, so you can see here I have this generic three to four rank up gem that I've been sitting on, I believe, since the 4th of July. It has been far too long. Um, of me just sitting on it, so I just need to use this, um, especially with, you know, Black Friday coming up, Cyber Weekend, all that fun stuff, so th these are going to become a little bit more plentiful, uh, so I wanted to use them. I also have um, very nearly six Tier 6 Basic and very nearly six Tier 3 Alpha, so I am very close to a third uh rank four three rank four champions just sitting in my inventory um so because of that with eternity of pain coming and with you know battlegrounds and just rank four materials becoming more and more available um i knew i needed to pull the trigger on at least one rank four um so i figured why not let my wife in on the fun uh my wife knows nothing about this game she knows next to nothing about the Marvel Universe. Um, she did buy me a shirt uh, for Marvel Contest of Champions. Um, it has classic Spider-Man, classic Captain America, and uh, Vision Age of Ultron on it. Um, and it was her attempt to understand that game I play all day. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So... What I did for the first batch, for the, for the first rank uh, four that I'm going to do, um, is I filtered my champions by six star ranks one, two, and three. Um, I then asked her to scroll through, just like I'm scrolling through now, obviously a little bit slower, um, and to pick five champions. Once she picked five champions, I would then veto three of those champions, and then she would pick of the final two. Uh, she got to the end and she said, what does it mean if they're in black and white? Because I didn't realize that they would have been picked uh, or that they would have been filtered in as well. So I told her that she couldn't pick those. Um, unfortunately, you know, for purgatory. Um, but, you know, so she got through. She So, uh, you know, you can see I have I have a decent size six size roster. A uh, six star roster is not the greatest six star roster in the world, but it certainly will do. Um... So I let her scroll through, and her first choice, I believe she started at the bottom just based on the, the, the way that she, uh, that she did this, but her first choice was, let's see if I can find him here, um, Punisher 2099. So that was pick number one. She then picked original guillotine. So as these first two picks, I am having immediate regret. Uh, neither is, I mean, Punisher's not bad, you know, um, Guillotine, I really think they missed the mark with her rank up, but that's fine. Um, but those are her first two picks. Then after that, um, she scrolled up a little bit and she picked one of my favorite champs in the game of Bishop. So at that point I'm thinking, look, okay, worst comes to worst. We have at least one good champion in this pool. Bishop's pretty solid. You know, I can definitely live with Bishop. I really enjoy Bishop. Um, and then after Bishop, she picked Void. So I knew that once she picked two champions that I was fine with, I knew that, you know, I was safe. So I would have been very happy with either Void or Bishop. Um, so I knew that I was going to be safe. And then her final pick was Black Widow Clairvoyant. So there's three very good champions in this pool. Um, so like I said, she picked five, then I veto three. So it was an automatic Punisher 2099 and guillotine veto for me. Um, after that, it was just a matter of Bishop, Void, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. All three of them are very, very good champions. Um, 
I did end up going with Black Widow Clairvoyant, though, as my third veto. Um, reason being, I think she's very, very good. Um, I typically don't run the Recoil Masteries, which she doesn't need, but she gets a very big boost from it, um, just from her damage output. But really, the big reason why I vetoed her is Doom. I have Dr. Doom at rank four, um, and I know there's a big debate, you know, Doom versus Claire. And like I said, I, I think that, you know, Claire's a very good champion, um, but she's not even the best recoil mastery user of the Mystic class anymore. That would actually, that goes to Diablo at this point. Um, you know, and at that point, you know, I'm really just splitting hairs. I mean, I had a, she's SIG 180, um, so, you know, she's a very high SIG for me. Um, but when it comes down to it between Claire, Bishop, and Void... I just prefer Void and Bishop between uh, between those three. So I so I ended up vetoing Claire, um, and then let my wife pick between Bishop and Void. Like I said, I would have been very happy with either of these. Um, they were both champions that I was considering on my own rank fouring. Um, Void is a champion who I used to use a whole bunch in the five star meta. Um, he is a champion who. I'm very comfortable using, I think he's SIG 140. Um, I have a bunch of generic SIG, so I could SIG 200 in his as well. Uh, he's a very, very good champion. Um, he's a little bit, I don't want to say outclassed, but he a lot of the science class um, has made him not as relevant anymore. Um, champions like Scorpion and, and Spider-Man 2099, um, they do a lot of things that Void can do. Um I mean, in terms of heal reversal, he's he's still near the top of the list. Um, you know, like Mr. Fantastic, though, he, he's a guy who, at this point, may be a little bit easier to to, to fit into teams who can also do the same heal reversal. Um, but, you know, Void is still very, very good at what he does. Um, and then when you go to Bishop, Bishop is an excellent champion. He has great damage. He's good offensively. He's good defensively. Um you know, he does some really cool things. So like I said, I was very okay with either of those picks. Um, in the end, though, of the two, my wife selected Bishop. Um, like I said, very okay with this pick. Uh, I So I recently pulled a Mutant Rank 4 gem from 8.1, and I very nearly gave it to Bishop. I ended up going with Toad instead. Um but uh, it was down to those two. So Bishop nearly got the call last time. Um, he's going to get the call this time. Um, really, really do enjoy Bishop. He's a lot of fun to play. Um, he does a lot of things really, really great. Um, like I said, he's got the, you know, the solid damage with the incinerate damage and high special damage. Um, he also is great for champions that shrug a lot of the skill class, uh, you know, if you Kingpin, Crossbones, Agent Venom, anybody who can shrug debuffs, um, where they, if they shrug that stun, it then becomes a passive stun. Um, so he does that very well, you know, and he can, pa he can carry over his power from fight to fight. Um, you know, he's just a very, very, very good champ. I was, very happy with the way uh, that this went out. So just, I guess, a little bit of a, you know, could have definitely been worse um, in terms of who she would have picked, but Bishop will be my next rank four. But like I said, um, I decided not to do this once, but twice. So for the second batch, I decided to narrow it down a little bit more because the way that I wanted her to pick the champions... Um, was not just like I did the last time, which was just scrolling through and just kind of looking at their profile pictures. Um, what I wanted her to do, so what I did was I took out my rank 1s and my rank 2s, um, and I just let her pick from rank 3s, but I clicked the champion info page, and I told her to scroll through so that she would get a better idea of what each champion looked like. Um, so upon her scrolling through, she picked... Five champions. So the first champion that she picked, sorry, I actually passed her, was, believe it or not, Ghost. So as soon as she picked Ghost, I went, oh man, this could be a lot of fun here. Um, so this was, you know, go like I, Ghost is Ghost. I mean, she's about to get whitelisted for next season. She is, without question, one of the best champions in the entire game. Um, 
you know, part of the reason why I haven't ranked forward her already is because she's been so consistently banned. Like I said, I'm not a huge user of the recoil matches. I have them unlocked. I certainly can use them. Um, and she gets a big benefit from them. Um, but you know, she's, she's a champ. She does, she does so many things at such a high level. So as soon as she picked ghost, like I said, my, my, my ears kind of perked up and I was like, Oh man, we, we got at least one good pick right out the bat. Um, then her next pick was the hood. Another champion who I really, really enjoy. I did, you know, I used him in war the other day. Um, a great ghost synergy champ as well. And, you know, one of the best buff control champs in the entire game. Um, based on her, she really liked the way the hood looked. Um, so I did, we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but I did have to kind of strategically try to ban cause I feel like, and I guess I'm kind of giving it away. I did end up banning hood or not banning vetoing hood is one of my five, um, because she ended up because she picked ghost with her first pick. Um, and because ghost was on the table, I did want to see if she would pick ghost on her own um, because ghost is just that good of a champ. So I did end up vetoing hood, but I would have been very happy with hood uh, because he's such a great champ. Um, after that though, she kept scrolling through um, kind of surprised. She didn't pick Mojo. I kind of thought she was going to go with Mojo because Mojo is just kind of, you know, weird looking and she's the, he's the kind of champion that I think that my wife would have picked, but she didn't. Um, she skipped over Sorcerer, she skipped over Ma, she skipped over Diablo. She, so, oh, and sorry, one other thing. I said that any of the champions who were um, orig who were picked in the last one, so Void and Black Widow, were not able to be picked again because then she would have just picked them again because you picked them the first time. So Void was ineligible to be picked. Um, so that kind of sucks for Void because you probably would have picked them this time, but, you know, is what it is. Um she thought about Nebula, but decided not to pick Nebula. Uh, she skipped over Kitty because Kitty is terrible. And she picked Warlock with her third pick. So like I said, I mean, right then and there, as soon as I get at least two champions who are good, um, I'm pretty happy. And she got, she, she, her first three picks were Ghost, Hood, and Warlock. So very, very good picks right now um, that I have to deal with. Um, she did not like Dragon. Sorry, Mike. She didn't like Man-Thing. She didn't want Mr. Fantastic. So she's scrolling at this point. Um, she's still looking through. Still looking through. And she ends up picking. I think the next one's coming up. So I was kind of hoping that she was going to pick Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. Um, because Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is one of my favorite champions in the game. I got through Labyrinth with him. Um, and she knows how much I love Spider-Man. So, because, you know, anyone who's ever met me knows how much I love Spider-Man. So I was hopeful that she was going to pick Spider-Man, but unfortunately she did not. Um, so she kept scrolling. So there's a little bit of a, uh, you know, delay here between her warlock pick. Um, but she ends up picking with number four, Penny Parker. Now, Penny Parker and I have a long and tortured relationship. Um, I have died in war using Penny Parker more times than I think any other champion. And that's saying something because if you've watched any of my war videos, you know that I'm far from a perfect player. Um, but Penny Parker is a champion who I've just consistently just messed up with. So she literally picked her because she looked at her and she went, she's got to have something else because you look at just the profile picture of Penny Parker and she's like, she's got to have something else that makes her really cool. And I looked at her and I went, she's got a giant mechanical spider suit. And she went, yeah, that makes sense. So Penny Parker was her fourth pick. Um, I don't doubt that, I don't dispute that Penny is a good champion. I just hate her. So... But she still has one pick left. Um, she was going through and she I was kind of surprised she didn't pick Masakure because she commented that she thought Masakure looked like Mankind. Um, so I was kind of surprised she didn't pick him because she likes uh, Mankind. Bishop was already obviously going up. Um, but her last pick, I was kind of hoping she picked Voodoo, but she didn't. Uh, her fifth pick was, let's see, man, she scrolled through a lot of champs in order to get to them. Um, 
I really wanted her to pick Magneto. She didn't. Um, her last pick was... We will get there in a second. Like I said, it's just my rank three, so she really scrolled through all of them. This is... It just goes to show you she did she did scroll through all of them before she picked her fifth one. Um, oh, she did. So when she saw Cosmic Ghost Rider, she said, "What the heck is a Cosmic Ghost Rider?" Which I think is a fair question, honestly. Uh, but she did not end up picking Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, she ended up picking Killmonger as number five. So five very good picks. Um, like I said earlier, because Ghost was in the five, I wanted to try to not influence her because I wanted her to make the pick, um, but I wanted her to have to let Ghost have a legitimate fighting chance. Now, of the five champs between Ghost, Hood, Warlock, Penny Parker, and Killmonger, the champs that I like the best are Ghost and Hood. Um, but, uh... Penny Parker and Killmonger were easy vetoes just because I think they're a step below. Um, well, I hate Penny Parker and I think Killmonger is very good, but I don't think he's quite as good as the other champs. Um, so that left Ghost, Hood, and Warlock. And like I said, I've based on her reaction to seeing Hood, I think she would have picked Hood. And I wanted to give Ghost a better chance of getting picked. Um, so I ended up vetoing Hood along with Penny and Killmonger, leaving Ghost and Warlock. Now, she went back and forth on Ghost and Warlock a good amount. Um, I think she liked how goofy Warlock looked. Um, and she liked that Ghost, I guess, was a... She originally thought that Ghost was a guy. Like I said, she has no um, no frame of reference. She's The only uh, MCU movie she's seen is she saw Eternals because I drug her to go see Eternals when we were... Uh, towards the beginning of our relationship. And she still ended up marrying me even after I took her to see that movie. So you know it's real. Um, and we saw Spider-Man No Way Home. Um, those are the only two MC movies she's seen. So she didn't see Ant-Man and the Wasp where Ghost was there. So she had no idea anything about Ghost. Um, I told her, you know, because she said, oh, he looks cool. And well, Ghost is actually a girl. Um, and she went, oh, that's pretty cool. Um so I think that's may have what ended up leaning her in that direction, but she did end up picking Ghost. So two champions going up to rank four, um, Bishop and Ghost, considering all of the nonsense that is in the champion pool, uh, especially that I have at rank one and rank two who were eligible in that first pick, um, Definitely could have been way, way worse. Um, I mean, like I said, Ghost is one of the best and most versatile champs in the game. So taking her to rank four, especially when I already have her rank three, say 200. Um, very happy with that pick. Very surprised that she ended up picking her. She really seemed like she was leaning towards Warlock. Um, but I think the fact that she found out that Ghost was female, um, I think ended up pushing her over the edge towards Ghost. Um, and like I said, Bishop, just a really cool champ, a lot of fun to play. So um, I'm very happy with the way this worked out. Like I said, could have went way, way worse. Um, and I still have the materials to rank for somebody else, especially after Eternity of Pain goes up. I'm currently saving up six star shards um, for the next feature. I know there's a leak out, you know, who may or may not be in it. Um, you know, we'll see. I'm targeting Quicksilver and Gallon, so hopefully I get one of those two. I'm currently at about 320,000 six-star shards. Um, the feature resets in, I think, three weeks or so. Um, so hopefully I can get to about 350 to 400,000 in that range. Um, I have a generic gem and I have a cosmic gem. So, you know, for Quicksilver and Gallon, respectively, if I only pull each of them once. Um, but that'll be, that'll be, that'll hopefully be my next rank four after these two. Uh, but like I said, very happy with how this worked out tonight. Very surprised that it worked out this way. Um, and both Ghost and Bishop will be going up to rank four uh, at next level up. Ghost right in time for next season's uh, whitelist. Um, and Bishop should be a lot of fun, especially in Battlegrounds. Um, he's definitely one of the more versatile defenders. Um, if for no other reason than he, you know, 
He's one of the better mutants who can counter Nimrod. Um, yeah, I mean, you can certainly find ways to get around Bishop, but he he's a pretty annoying champ to fight. Um, and a rank four Bishop will be will be pretty annoying in battlegrounds. Um, we have a rank four Bishop already um, on defense um, in battle group three in four Loki. So, he, and he's at a higher sig. Not that the sig matters that much for defense. Uh, but he'll still keep his on defense. But you know, we might be some, we might see some rank four bishop um, on attack. The only way that uh, we see bishop go to rank four before level up is if I need him for next war. Um, but thanks for watching. I know this is a little bit of a lengthier video, as you kind of heard me ramble on as I tried to explain my wife's thought process. Um, but ghost and bishop, very happy with how it went out. Um, they'll both go up at the next level up, need those 25 units, you know, trying to save up for cyber weekend. Um, like I said, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see everyone soon. Thanks.